Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another news video. We're going straight to the point because we have quite a bit to talk about. We have more news on FNAF AR. We got a lot, and when I mean a lot, I mean a lot. So again, we're jumping straight to the point, and let's look at the tweet that uh, the official FNAF AR Twitter account, linked down below, of course, um, tweeted out at exactly 9 a.m. this morning. So this is basically a summarization of everything that we're going to cover in this video today. They, you know, compiled it neatly right here, saying early access details. One, will take place before Thanksgiving of 2019, so it does seem like it has been slightly delayed. Uh, not by too much though, only by a month, which really isn't that bad when we think about it so uh yeah early access before thanksgiving and then we'll learn later on that uh the full game will be released uh very shortly after that number two will be batched on a first come first serve basis for those who pre-registered so if you are one of the very first people that pre-registered on fnafar.com which is now going to forever be a link down in the description of the video so if you haven't pre-registered just yet Go sign up right now. Because those of you who do pre-register have a chance of getting early access before Thanksgiving. And finally, early access players will receive a limited number of invites to play the game with friends, which is absolutely insane. This is, based on what I'm reading right now, the very first FNAF game to be multiplayer. Um, either that or I'm picking this up entirely wrong and it's just... You, um, you get codes that you can send to your friends, um, and then they can play it. It's either that, or it is multiplayer. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. It really could be either one, um, but based on what we've seen, it doesn't look like it's multiplayer, but there's always that chance. It does say play with friends, so maybe it's multiplayer, and if it is, that's going to be freaking awesome. Um, so yeah. Early access this Thanksgiving and full game shortly after that. So now let's get over to an email that um, Illuminix actually sent out to everyone that pre-registered. Like I said, uh, Illuminix sent this out to basically everyone that pre-registered on FNAFAR.com and I know I keep saying that a lot, but honestly, you guys really should go register because again, you have a chance of getting FNAF AR special delivery, you know, uh, before it even comes out. So. Again, make sure to go sign up. I'm, I don't mean to push you guys so much because it is your decision, but early access, if you if you want it, go sign up, link down below. So the email reads, something special just for you. We've been listening to your questions and want to give you some answers. Enclosed are more details on the FNAF AR game and the early access program. This is a lot of information and it's, it's really, really good. All of it is absolutely fantastic. So first up, we have how you can play. Well, FNAF AR will be free to play, which is absolutely, again, it's just absolutely insane that they're working this hard on a game and they're making it completely free. Of course, um, with a free game comes, you know, you gotta make money off it somehow, because this isn't Scott by himself on his house. He's had to pay a company to make this game basically for him um so they are gonna have to make money somehow and whether or not that does mean in-game microtransactions i really really hope it doesn't but honestly it may come down to that which i know some people aren't too big a fan of i'm not a huge fan of microtransactions um either so hopefully it doesn't come down to that but Remember, they gotta make money off the game somehow. Special delivery will be available on both iOS and Android devices, so that's gonna be super, super fun. Basically, anyone with a mobile device can play it. And later on, we'll also read the entirety of the full uh, list of device capability um, that there is, because they've listed out all the devices that you can play de uh, special delivery on, so we're gonna be looking at that very, very shortly. Next up, when can you play FNAF AR Special Delivery? Well, we got a whole section dedicated to that. The upcoming timed early access period will take place before Thanksgiving 2019 with the official launch to follow. So something that's interesting and I know I'm editing these videos and I'm like, I need to stop saying something that's interesting because I say that all the time. But um, something that definitely is interesting is upcoming timed early access period. So people that get early access will only be able to have it for a very, very short uh, limited time. So. 
again. That's super interesting. And then again, you know, before Thanksgiving 2019 and the official launch will follow shortly after. Early access will be granted in batches on a first come first serve basis. Anyone that is pre-registered will have a chance to be granted access. We've already explained that many, many times throughout the uh, FNAF AR news video, so there's not much we have to look into there. Players with an early access ticket will also receive a limited number of invitations so that they can play the game with their friends. So I think I figured this out, okay? I think I figured this out because the golden ticket was a little bit um, complicated in my opinion, so I think I figured it out. So if you pre-registered, you have a chance of getting a golden ticket and you have a chance of getting early access. If you get early access, you get that. It's just you, you get early access. But if you get a golden ticket, not only do you get early access, but you also get codes that you can send to your friends so that they can get early access um, for themselves. And now, the sneak preview. I think everyone has seen this, but it's, it's still just absolutely incredible. The sneak preview for what's to come with FNAF AR Special Delivery is freaking Shadow Bonnie. We have not seen this guy properly since, I guess, Custom Night if you want to count it, but basically FNAF 2. If you don't know who Shadow Bonnie is, you're not really missing out. Um, he's been a mystery basically throughout the entirety of the franchise. He first appeared in FNAF 2. There was a chance of him spawning in your office just randomly. If you look at him too long, then your game will crash. Um, flip up the monitor to get rid of him, put on the mask, I'm pretty sure, to get rid of him, so, yeah, he's basically been a mystery, he returned in Custonite, he basically, all he did in Custonite was make your room dark, it wasn't that much of a threat, so, yeah, to see him in, I guess, properly for the first time ever, um, seeing him properly in a game is gonna be absolutely incredible, and it looks like it's got the same controls as the other screenshots we've seen. We've got the flashlight, we've got the battery, we've got the little swirly twirly thing in the middle. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I guess we'll find out um, when the official game launches uh, sometime Thanksgiving. And there's also a little X at the bottom to quit out of the game, I guess. I don't know. Maybe there's different levels. <gasps> Wait a minute, hold on, I just had a thought. Okay, maybe there's different levels with different animatronics. And um, I did see Fusion's video and he brought this up, which I really don't hope is the case, but it might be, so let me explain. Again, with the game being free to play, obviously they gotta make money off it somehow. So something Fusion brought up is the fact that to unlock different characters, there might be a shop where you have to get them. Um, maybe each time you beat a character, each time you complete a level, find a lore or something, you get like, Faz coins, okay, and then you go to the shop and you get to um, for a certain amount of Faz coins buy certain characters. Uh, that might be the case. I really hope it's not because you know, as much as I would love to support Illuminix, I don't really want to pay for every single character because that's just that's not fun in my opinion. I think collecting the characters is going to be so much fun. So you beat a level. Um, you unlock a snippet of lore or something, and you get a new character because of that. I think that's going to be much, more, uh, much, much more fun than just buying characters in the shop, but honestly, it may come down to that. And that's it. That's the entire email. Hashtag FNAF AR. Stay in the loop with Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and, you know, Illuminix and FNAF AR. That is the entirety of the email. So now, I'm going to show you guys the list of all the supported devices that FNAF AR is on. I'm not going to read through every single one. I'm just going to scroll, and you guys can look for your device. Device, um, because there is a lot. So here is all of the devices. I'm gonna go very slowly. There is a lot, so make sure you scan very, very closely. Um, yeah, see if yours is on here. Like, as you can see, well, well, there's just, there's so much. So basically anyone can get this. It's gonna be so, so fun. It's gonna be so amazing to see everyone playing this game because, you know, augmented reality, as cool as it is, it's not really explored as much as it could be. There's not a lot of AR games, again, most people when they think of augmented reality, Pokemon Go and Minecraft Earth, those are the two that come to mind, so hopefully, just hopefully, maybe FNAF can be up on that list um, if it's popular enough. So there's actually an article that was written by, what is this, Venture Beat, and they, oh my god, Wow, guys, look at all these ads. Wow, look at Chucky. Wow. They actually released an article, and right here it says, Illuminix will continue... Well, that's not what I want to highlight. Illuminix will continue to update the title with new content and features during live operations, such as special events, 
and will be taking into account community feedback on ongoing basis. Not, so not only are they going to be listening to the community, uh, most likely through like Reddit and all that stuff, they're also going to be updating the game with live operation so that there's going to be no downtime, you don't have to wait for it to update, there's going to, well, obviously you're going to have to update it probably, but there's also, the, there's not going to be any downtime, is what I'm trying to say, which is awesome. There's going to be special events, probably for holidays, like, um, well, I would say Halloween, but it's not going to be released af until after Halloween, so probably next year, some Halloween updates, maybe even some uh, Christmas holiday updates, that would be super cool to see. So yeah, they're just going to be updating the game constantly with new content and features, and I really, really love that. That is the entirety of the updates. Now, you may be thinking, why, where, where's background? Don't worry. <laughs> it, it's, it's on a little bit of a holiday, it's on a little bit of a vacation, it's on a little bit of a break. Um, because the next video, hopefully going to be on the channel, is exploring loads of easter eggs, um, in the Curse of Dreadbear DLC, which hopefully will be coming out very, very soon, because it's only been out for a few days, and people have already found loads of easter eggs and secrets, so that's going to be hopefully up next, but that's it for this video. So, again, pre-register for FNAFAR.com, and just stay on the lookout for more news. I definitely will. I've got you guys covered uh, whenever there is news, so... If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe, hit the like. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. God, I hate this outro, but we're gonna go with it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.